Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is a Harper James Wax Company haul. Now, let me tell you, when I see a new-to-me vendor, when I see new-to-me vendor hauls, they're some of my favorite videos, not only to film, but also to watch on YouTube. Now, with wax, anyone can take wax, oil, color, a bag, slap it together, and call it a scent. But when you see new wax vendors come on the market, when new vendors come on the market all the time, you obviously are curious, but when you're like me and a lot of other fellow wax YouTubers, you just can't try them all. So, of course, you keep your eyes on a few, or at least I do, and the latest is Harper James. Now, my good friend Charity Rose, if you're not familiar with Charity and her channel, I'll definitely link her channel down below. She raved about Harper James. Now, full disclosure, she did purchase, or she did get sent, the original box from Harper James for free to review on her channel, but that does not make her non-credible, that does not make you not believe her. She is very honest, truthful in her videos, and she's very transparent, as am I, when I review a product. And I'm honest, if I like it, if I don't like it, if I love it, if I hate it, if I like the vendor, if I don't like the vendor, I'm honest, open, always on my channel. Um, anyway, so she absolutely loved Harper James, so of course I was curious. Saw her warm review, loved it, saw a second haul from her, I'm like, okay, I need to go on her site. So, here is a box from Harper James, and what I'm so excited about, a few things. The fragrances and the blends, the colors, the packaging, the labels, chef's kiss. She is right up there with Salt Mountain Melts, Zape, like, she just has such cute packaging, and I also don't know where the rule came in that you can't talk about other vendors and other vendors' videos. This is my channel, and I can do anything I want with it, so I don't really know why people say, oh, I can't talk about another vendor in my video. There's no rule book, so I don't understand that. So I, I share all different vendors in my videos. I don't mind. Anyway, and what I loved about her is she has these snap bars. Now, they're not exactly the same as Sassy Girl Aroma, but that's who I first saw this size bar from. They're about 6.7 ounces, obsessed with this bar. It's like, for one, a giant bar of chocolate. Number two, I love that they're flat so they're easy to store. I love that you can, it's enough for you to try it multiple times, unless it's a humongous area of your house and use the whole thing. But I love that you're able to try it multiple times to really find out if you love it, but it's not a ton that it's a loaf. So, love that about Harper James that she offers that size. She also offers souffles, shapes, clamshells, all sorts of things. I stuck with snap bars. I did purchase nine. They retail for $9, and she does offer free shipping over $75, which I absolutely love. And she also is customs all the time. So you can find some scents that you like, some scent oils that you love, and you can place an order for customs, which after I melt these, talk about them in my empties, see what I think that may be in the future because there's definitely some scents here I would love to have my hands on as a custom. So, that long-winded little explanation, without further ado, let's get into it. Inside the box, I started with a business card, and it says, Thank you for your order, super fun watercolor. It says, Thank you for your support. Your business means a lot to me. Your order has been handmade with love and packaged with care. If you have any questions, please contact me anytime. Happy melting. XOXO Mary. There's her Facebook group, her Instagram, and her website, which I will leave all that info down below. Definitely join her Facebook group. She's very active on social media, which I love. And... I got two samples in my order. The first one is Raspberry Sangria. Now, I love me some raspberry, but the more fruity, zesty, zingy raspberry, not perfumey. Full disclosure, I did smell all of these. And this is so good. It's that zingy raspberry, a little bit of effervescence, but it's not fizzy pop. So you don't get that, like, citrus of fizzy pop. Yeah, it's like a very zesty 
bright raspberry with, I mean, it is a sangria, so I do smell like a little bit of like champagne in this. It's definitely more of a champagne fizz than a fizzy pop fizz, which I love. Really like this one. Definitely would order that. And then the other one is Step Right Up. And I believe this is like a funnel cake type of blend. Pop that out. Oh yeah, this is like gooey funnel cake. Funnel cake, caramel, all those like delicious confections at a carnival. It's just so yummy too. And I love the purple color. Now, her and I were chatting a little bit back and forth on Facebook. And she did tell me that her wax is ready to use right away, but does benefit from some cure time. So I'm going to let this sit for two weeks, like I typically do with wax, and then give it a shot. All right, I want to dive into the snap bars, starting with Stormy Seas. Now, Stormy Seas is sea salt, Himalayan salt, and driftwood. I don't, I don't want to take them out of the package. I'm going to take one bar out. I just don't like when the packages get all smudgy. But take a look at that. Really nice thickness, and for the most part, these are all one color with a little bit of a white wax drizzle, which I love. Now, this is not a scent that I typically go for in wax. I just wanna slide it in. Sometimes it's like above the zipper. It like gets wax on it whenever you slide it in and out, and that just drives me crazy. But anyway, I'm not always super into like the salty sea air type of blends, but I wanted something different, change it up, and I really, really like this. You definitely get salty, salty air. You definitely get, it's not like salty, like bakery salty. It's definitely like earthy, very fresh, outdoorsy, aquatic, with a hint of like a crisp wood. This is really, really nice. This will be a great bedroom or bathroom scent for sure. So that one is Stormy Seas. I'm going to do all the coffees last because I got a lot of coffees. All right. This one, Lexi, when her and I were chatting, was super shocked that I got this one. This is Summer Squeeze. Tart cherry. I'm not a huge cherry person. Lemonade and sweet strawberry. But she was pouring this one and posted on Facebook. And I was like, this is literally adorable. I need to try this. And... I find, like, Sensi has a cherry lemonade, or limeade, cherry limeade, that I absolutely love. So I decided to give this a shot. This is so, so nice. You definitely get, like, the super zesty lemon. And the strawberry, the cherry is in there, but it's not, like, cough medicine cherry. It does smell more like a maraschino cherry. Like that, like, candy cherry. But it is actually really, really, really nice. I'm very shocked that I actually like this. This, I think, will be perfect for the summertime. Next, we have coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, this is coffee, too. Whatever, I'm just going to dive in. Coffee, this is Sunday Fun Day. And this is coffee bean ice cream, cheesecake, and caramel. Does that not sound divine? It is so good. This is a very, very creamy coffee. You can definitely tell that it's caramel ice cream. I'm picturing like Haagen-Dazs Dolce de Leche ice cream specifically. When you crack open the lid, you can really smell that thick, gooey, rich, buttery caramel. And I find it amazing when wax can actually smell hot or cold. This smells like ice cream, like caramel ice cream, you definitely can pick up on the coldness, and then that coffee bean really just adds a, a robust richness, while the cheesecake is very, very creamy, and it's not that, like, zippy, almost can come off like a sour milk note like cheesecake does. Mm -mm, this is so pretty. So good. I love coffee scents, and I love that I'm getting a lot more in my wheelhouse. Hmm. I lose my voice. Next, we have espresso. St now, <clears throat> not straight up espresso. It's coffee bean and vanilla cream. So, I wanted to try her espresso because I absolutely love espresso scents. And I'll be honest, this one's nice. It's not my absolute favorite. There's some other coffees in here that I like more. It's not as strong on the coffee for me. 
I feel like there's a lot of vanilla cream in here. Whereas like the name Espre Espresso, I would think it's going to be really, really strong on the coffee, where it's definitely more vanilla forward. So if you're like diving into coffee, but you're not sure where to start, Harper James Espresso, I feel like is really good for that because it's definitely a more creamy, creamy vanilla. Next, we have Coffee House Cupcakes, and this is Coffee House Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Whipped Cream, and her labels are so cute. There's a little coffee cup and a little cupcake. I love Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I've really grown to love that oil mixed. I know if you watched my Sassy Girl Aroma haul, I need to melt it on its own. Alexis, I hear you. I'm going to try it. I promise. I need to get through this, like, Misfits basket I'm working on first. But, oh, this is so nice. The Cupcakes at Tiffany's adds this, like, very creamy bakery to the coffee. And I'm not sure what her coffee house oil is, but... You can definitely tell it's a very roasty coffee again. It's very similar to the coffee that's in the Sunday Fun Day. Mmm, that's really, really yummy. If you like a good bakery coffee, that one's for you. Now, my favorite coffee of this order is Campfire Espresso. I actually had to take a photo and post this in her Facebook group. This is Espresso, Chocolate, Marshmallow, and Graham Cracker. One. If you're not a huge fan of chocolate and wax, I think you'll still like this. Natalie. You really smell the graham cracker. Like honey made graham crackers, you're getting ready to roast s'mores and you open that package, you can smell the graham cracker. Which that I find can be difficult to smell in wax, but I definitely get the graham cracker. And then the coffee is the espresso, so it's that real robust, rich, deep coffee. Ugh. And then chocolate marshmallow. I find that the chocolate, it's more like a dark chocolate. It's not super, super sweet. It's not super, super, super creamy. It does have some chocolate, but again, it's a very dark, deep chocolate. And I think the marshmallow is just adding a little bit of creaminess. But this is so pretty. This one, Charity raved about, and I had to try it, and this is North Pole. Now, this is the only one that's different colors, and on the back, it's like swirled like a candy bar. And this is Spearmint, Peppermint, and Vanilla. Now, I know it's not Christmas North Pole, but Sassy Girl Aroma has an at the North Pole that is delicious, and I wanted to pick this one up. I really want to start doing, I do love my gourmand bakeries in the bedroom. That was like one huge sentence. I want to do more peppermints, lavenders, pink sugars, calming blends in the bedroom. And uh, this is so nice. It is, I think, this is the dupe for North Pole from Yankee Candle. Because on Sassy Girl, it says North Pole type. And I was sitting there and I'm thinking, wait a minute. They have a North Pole scented Yankee Candle. And the more I smell this, I'm like, yep, that's North Pole. And it is like a very creamy, creamy peppermint vanilla with a hint of spearmint that kind of wakes you up. And it's almost like a very cooling, refreshing. I find the peppermint and the vanilla is great. Creamy, rich peppermint. But then the spearmint adds a little bit of a coolness to the air. And that's exactly what I get from this one. Really really like that. Very, very pretty blend. Next, Strawberry Pound Cake. Have to. Such a classic. Love Strawberry Pound Cake. Again, her label's so cute. Strawberry, lemon zest, pound cake, and whipped cream. And yep, it smells just like Bath & Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake. Never a bad time, never a bad moment for Strawberry Pound Cake. Oh, love. So good, so yummy. And then, oh, I thought I had three left. I have four left. This one, Magnolia Peony. I've been seeing Patrice. Is that her name? I think it's Patrice. She's been talking about how much she really likes this scent from Harper James. And I love the scent of peonies. Magnolia, not so much. But I wanted to give it a shot anyway. This is Cherry Blossom, Magnolia, Peony, and Freesia. This, you guys... Smells just like a crisp spring day. Chili green flowers. Now I say green flowers. Like flowers with the greenery and all of it on a spring day. Peonies to me are such a beautiful fragrance. 
I love whenever you smell a peony fresh. My dad actually has peonies growing on the side of his house. And I was over there the other day and I smelled it. It smells just like this. Peony is just so beautiful. I love, love, love this. Thing. Last but not least, stay salty. Love the name. This is salted pretzel, caramel, maple, and sugar cookie. Now, I don't sugarcoat things around here. I love this. To me, it's cookie land. It smells just like cookie land from Rose Girls, which I absolutely love cookie land. So I'm excited to see how this performs for me. I don't think I have any cookie land on its own right now. I had it in a sample and this is exactly it. It's that salty, yeasty, delicious pretzel with rich sugar cookies. Mm. So good, so yummy, absolutely love this scent. Love, stay salty, excited to try this, but yeah, it definitely smells just like Cookie Land. My box is empty, that was the green tissue paper that came inside. I am so thrilled with my order. I cannot wait to melt these bars, these snap bars, I have to remember what everybody calls theirs, but I cannot wait to try these snap bars. Let me know if you guys tried Harper James, what scents you like, what scents I should try, or if you have not ordered, let me know if you guys want to place an order and what you're going to get. Leave it down below, join her Facebook, let's chat. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner, that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Stay amazing, be kind, and all the things that I love to say at the end of videos because I think you matter, make a difference in the world, and you matter. Bye guys!